Hi, I'm Emily Bradley, and it's a pleasure to be with you today. In this demo, we'll show you Medit's newest technology and its outstanding performance in detail. As you can see, data is being collected on the screen, but where's the scanner? Hi here. Hi, I'm Juni Che, and I'm proud to introduce to everyone the i700W. That's really impressive. You were scanning from all the way over there. That's the magic of the i700 wireless. We got rid of the wire from the i700 to make it easier to use. Let's go over some key features of the new i700 wireless. We have included the UVC function and the remote control button unique to the Medit i700. It's only the wire that's gone. It's the perfect scanner that maintains the same great features while adding even more convenience. The i700 wireless is lightweight, well-balanced, and maneuverable. A rechargeable battery connects to the bottom of the scanner, eliminating a wired connection. With the battery attached, the i700 wireless is super light at 328 grams. It does feel light. I don't think it'll strain my wrist if I scan with it for a long period of time. The weight is evenly balanced, making scanning feel effortless. The i700 wireless can also be used with the handle grip to make it even more convenient. This new option will provide users with more stability and convenience while scanning. Wow, any more surprises? Of course, it's this tip. The previous version of the reusable tip could be autoclaved up to 100 times. The new i700 wireless tip has been upgraded and can be autoclaved 150 times. That's a significant improvement. Now I think our users would like to know how long they can actively scan with the i700 wireless device. Absolutely. We provide our users with three batteries, and one battery lasts for one hour of continuous scanning. When the scanner is not being used, each battery will last eight hours in sleep mode. Users can essentially scan for an entire day using a single battery. That should be enough to scan a good number of patients. What should users do if the battery runs out and for some reason they're not able to recharge it? That's a really good question. If users forget to charge the battery, they can connect the extension cable battery which is included in the accessory kit. The i700 wireless can now be used both as a wired and wireless device. You also don't need to worry about losing your data if the battery runs out in the middle of a scan. The software will automatically save the captured scan data before powering off. That's great. Learning about the hardware makes me even more curious about its scanning performance. Let's discuss the scanner performance. Should we set up the scanner and try scanning? Definitely. But before we start, first we need to set up the scanner. This is the wireless hub, enabling the scanner to operate without wires. The i700 wireless uses the millimeter wave-based next generation communication technology. This system uses two types of frequencies and is specialized for transferring extensive data. This technology can transfer data quickly and allows users to control the wireless handpiece easily. Now let's set up the battery. Here's the battery being charged. So what does it mean when the blue light is blinking? It means the battery is charging. When fully charged, the blinking will stop and the light will remain solid. Perfect timing. The battery finished charging. Let's plug in the battery and power on the scanner. The handpiece will also vibrate, indicating it has been powered on. What are these blue LED lights? These LED lights on the bottom of the handpiece reveal the remaining battery level. Each of the three LED indicates different battery levels. Wow, that's really convenient. It is. Now let's connect the scanner. Users can install MeditLink for free and run the Medit Scan for Clinic software. Once the software opens, the i700 wireless will start pairing with the wireless hub. This should take around 10 to 12 seconds. It looks like the scanner has been successfully connected. Users can check its connection status and battery level at the bottom left of the Medit Scan for Clinic screen. This indicates the connection status between the hub and the scanner. This shows the remaining battery level. Users can also check the connection status through the blue LED lights on the wireless hub and the scanner. The blue LED light will blink when pairing or connecting. The light will turn solid when the pairing process is complete. That's great. Users can check the connection status and the battery level through the Medit Scan for Clinics screen and the LED light on the i700 wireless scanner. That's correct. We wanted to simplify the process for our users. The scanner and software will provide this information in real time. Now, let's try scanning. 
Here's the scanning performance that you've been waiting to see. The maximum scan speed is 70 frames per second. We can experience the same excellent scanning performance and speed of the i700 with the i700 wireless. And with all our software updates, users will experience even faster scanning speed over time. We showed you a lot, but that's because the i700 wireless can do almost anything. We were able to check out both the excellent hardware and scanning performance of the i700 wireless. I'm excited to start using this new technology. I agree. I was surprised by the scanning performance. On a side note, getting rid of the wire is beneficial, not only for the dentist, but also for the patient. What do you mean by that? When the scanner is connected to a wire, it can be challenging to scan some areas, and the wire can lie uncomfortably on a patient's face. Getting rid of the wire gets rid of all these issues. Magic made easy with a simple touch. What more could we ask for? I think it's safe to say it's almost perfect. Our new i700 wireless will make scanning more effortless for you and bring comfort to your patients. We hope you get the opportunity to experience the amazing potential of this scanner. Thank you for taking the time to view this demonstration. We're excited for you to join the Medit family.